Listen, everybody, to the word I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. UN inspectors find high-grade uranium traces in Iran. According to Reuters, United Nations nuclear inspectors have found uranium particles refined to a higher than expected level at an underground site where Iran has installed more than 50% more enrichment centrifuges. The inspectors report said Tehran had told the UN agency that the presence of traces of highly refined uranium still well below potential nuclear weapons grade material may happen for technical reasons beyond the operator's control. Iran started enriching to a fissile concentration of 20% in 2010 and has since sharply expanded the activity, saying the material will serve as fuel for a medical reactor. But a suspicious West is alarmed since such enhanced enrichment accomplishes much of the technical leap towards 90% or weapons-grade uranium. Secondly, today, Israel is working to improve the range of the Iron Dome system. According to the Jerusalem Post, the IDF is working to increase the range of the Iron Dome counter-rocket defense system with the aim of enabling it to intercept longer-range rockets. To achieve the improved performance, the IDF is focusing on two tracks, technological upgrades to the system as well as modifications to the Israel Air Force's operational doctrine. The IDF currently operates four iron dome batteries and plans to deploy an additional two within the coming year. Last week, the United States announced that it will provide Israel with $70 million in immediate aid for the purchase of additional Iron Dome batteries. Thirdly today, a very sad story. Large American cities are decaying and falling apart. According to the Economic Collapse blog, cities such as Detroit, Cleveland, Baltimore, Memphis, New Orleans, St. Louis, and Oakland were all once places where middle-class American workers thrived and raised their families. Today, all of those cities are rapidly being transformed into cesspools of filth, crime, decay, and wretchedness. Millions of good jobs have left our major cities in recent decades and poverty has absolutely exploded. Economist Michael T. Snyder said, basically, you can turn out the lights because the party is over. 
In fact, some major U.S. cities are literally turning out the lights. In Detroit, about 40% of the street lights are already broken, and the city cannot afford to repair them. So the mayor has come uh, up with a plan to cut the number of operating street lights almost in half and leaving vast sections of the city totally in the dark at night. Snyder says, don't look down on Detroit too much because what is happening in Detroit will be happening where you live soon enough. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty-four forty-four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, uh, the Son of Man cometh. Dear friend, if you are not ready, get ready. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. That includes you. If you have blood running through your veins and air in your lungs, you're still living in this world. For God so loved the world. That includes you. Put your name there. For God so loved Bill. Makes no difference where you have been. Makes no difference what you have done. I do not care. Whatever you bring up, God can fix it. God can forgive you and cleanse you and turn your life around. God is a loving God. In fact, the Bible says God is love. He is the personification of love. Uh, So, no matter how big your uh, sin is, your mess is, God loves you and wants to save you and fellowship with you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, his name is Jesus Christ, that whosoever, that word whosoever means anybody at any time, believeth in him, Jesus Christ, should not perish where in hell but have everlasting life where in heaven with God Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life may I kindly encourage you to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior today so that you can be ready for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ Just believe in your heart right now that Jesus Christ died for you, for your sins. He shed his blood on the cross for your sins, understanding that you are a sinner. You've done bad things in your life. You cannot pay your uh, debt to God. So Jesus Christ died and paid the debt for you. And all you have to do is trust in him. Ask him to come into your heart and life to save you. The Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Pray with me this simple prayer. Holy Father God, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I confess my sins unto you. I acknowledge that I am a sinful person and that I have broken your laws. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, truly come into my heart and save my soul. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and change my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus Christ, the name I pray, and for his sake, amen. Dear friend, if you prayed that prayer, if you 
believed in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried and rose again, allow me to be the first to congratulate you for trusting Christ as your Savior, doing the most important thing you've ever done in your life. You will never regret it. May God bless you. you